Y'all know I am a budget queen. I am not about just spending my hard earned money on like stuff that I can get for cheaper. Welcome back to my channel guys. So as you can tell, I am in a completely different setting. I am back in my house as of right now. Honestly guys, I haven't been feeling like quite in the right energy to create a video like for the past week or so. I don't know, pretty much once this pandemic got really serious and we actually weren't able to leave the house like at all. It wasn't just like an option anymore. I feel like that's whenever I started having like more of like a low energy feeling and just it just I didn't have the energy to film to be quite honest. So I fell off my schedule but I'm back on it. Um, I'm planning on posting this video on Monday. Today is Sunday night and y'all it's super late at night and I did my hair and makeup all this just to record for you guys. But today I just wanted to do a chill little sit down video with you guys showing you guys my favorite things on Amazon. I feel like online shopping right now can really lift your spirits i don't know i just wanted to show you guys a few of my favorite things that i bought from there because i literally buy every single thing from amazon so yeah let's just get into it so i have two mommy items i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now and then i'll show you the two other ones at the end of the video because they are bigger items the first item that i got from amazon are these komotomo baby bottles i bought these for bella as you guys know, she was exclusively breastfed up until about 11 months is whenever I first transitioned her first. I literally woke her up from talking too loud. So that's why I don't. She's been using these for a few weeks now. And these are really good for breastfed babies going to bottles because the nipple resembles a mom's boob. And also this little area here is like squishy, if you can see. It's like very squishy and soft. And it's like made out of silicone. So it resembles a boob whenever they touch it and feel it. And I got two different sizes. This is the eight ounce and this is the five. I use this one for milk and this one for water. And this little piece here, it's just detachable so you can take it off or put it on. The next thing that I have is this formula. This is Earth's Best organic baby formula this is really good because whenever you switch from breast milk to formula obviously you want to give them the best and i think this one's really good it's supposed to be organic and non-gmo and i have a friend that uses the same one and her baby seems completely healthy so i went ahead and picked this one up too all right the next thing i'm gonna show y'all is this case for my ipad pro um i have the ipad pro 12.9 inch this case is just a rose gold case and it has a cover you open it up and this is what she looks like and it has a little area up here for your pen your apple pen so you don't lose it and it doesn't fall out and this is freaking amazing and also of course it can fold let me see if i can do it it folds and it can be a stand like that so you can just you know watch and do whatever you need to do just like this and you can just do your little pen thing put it back and boom and I love this. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it wasn't expensive at all. Whenever I was looking for a case, I looked at on Amazon and on Best at Best Buy, a few other places, and I couldn't really find one. I couldn't find one like this that I really liked, like a cute little color that held the pin and everything like that. All the ones I saw were either just like black or white, like really plain, or they didn't hold the pin. So. I pretty much ended up just kind of like checking Amazon over and over again and they ended up putting this on here. And I really love it. It keeps my iPad protected because before I was just having it out and naked and my pen would always fall off and that was really annoying. So I love this. The next thing is my MacBook cover. It is like a pink silicone cover. You guys will notice a lot of things in this haul are pink. But it's just a pink silicone cover and I love it. It's so pretty. But whenever it's on, the little Apple logo will show through here and it's really pretty. And also it came with a little keyboard cover, which is very cute. It just comes off just like this and you just put it back on. But 
I don't really have any issues with it just falling off. The only issue that I have usually is just like Bella ripping it off. But other than that, it's completely fine. And then it has a cover on the back too. So I love this. Very soft, very protective. Let's do jewelry next because why not? So the first thing I'm going to show you guys for jewelry are these little earrings. They're these cute little heart studs. I hope you guys can see. Cute little heart studs. They say, please return to forever love. And ignore my nails. I did them myself. They're tripping now. But these are super cute. They're basically supposed to be like a dupe for the Tiffany & Co. Please return to Tiffany & Co. earrings. Um, I saw these on another YouTuber's channel. And I fell in love with these. I didn't even know about the Tiffany ones until I saw her video. And I tried to buy these on Amazon. But they were sold out. So I was basically just going to buy the Tiffany & Co. ones, but they were like $700. So I was just kind of like trying to convince myself to buy it. But I don't really like to spend that amount of money right away on one thing at one time. Especially on something so small like earrings like this. But I ended up just waiting it out and they ended up coming back on the Amazon store. Um, they sell out super fast and they don't restock very fast so if you see these on there whenever I link them down below definitely get them because they sell out so fast but I'll show you guys what they look like in my ears okay can you see so that's just what they look like in my ear and I literally wear these like pretty much every single day since I've gotten them they're just like the perfect everyday earring because they're so pretty and so simple I don't usually wear these at all like literally at all unless I'm recording a video because if you know when you ever when you have a baby and you wear hoops they just pull them and I don't want to get my ear ripped out so I just avoid it altogether by just wearing the studs and I feel like it's worth it to find a really cute pair that you love that you can wear every day because that's pretty much all that I'm in now before I had Bella even when I was pregnant I used to wear hoops literally like every single day now I don't wear them pretty much at all unless I'm like going out or recording of course so yeah those are super cute also my anklets that i wear every single day i'll show you guys so these are the anklets that i wear pretty much every single day i never take them off it's an evil eye anklet and it just has like gold foiling i guess you can say and then this one is just a gold anklet with little like diamond Stavarsky crystals on them these i think they were like ten dollars each or something like that and i also think that those earrings i think were twenty dollars so not expensive at all but they do add a cute little touch to your look let me make sure i don't lose these because i always lose earrings guys that's another reason why i didn't want to get the tiffany and co ones right away because i literally lose my earrings all the time especially studs so i wanted to give these a test first if i want to get the other ones and i get it i also got the silver pair too um i'm not gonna be able to show you those because they're at my mom's house but i love the gold i just got the silver just because they sell out so fast Whew. the next thing i'm gonna show you is just this pink satin pillowcase so pretty much this came in a full set of two pillowcases and sheets and I freaking love it. Got this because obviously I want to protect my hair and my skin. But it's so pretty on a bag, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it does get very hot at night. So I'm pretty much forced to sleep with a fan on. And also it can be very slippery. So that was kind of annoying. I don't really use the sheets much anymore. But I still will use these because I love them. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was around $20 for the full set. And these are just so freaking pretty. So if you don't mind those two things that I told you. If you got you a fan on deck. You don't mind like slipping and sliding. Then definitely check those out. The next thing I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the little bed. Bedroom type of scene. Is these cute little pajamas. So this one is pink and gray. And it's pants. So they come all the way down. And it comes with a button up. Button down, button up. Button down shirt. Look how pretty that is y'all. Tell me this does not remind you of the Victoria's Secret ones. Tell me it don't. But hold up y'all because y'all don't see the one that really remind me. Look at this one. The pink and white stripe. This is like staple Victoria's Secret. Look how cute that is. Yeah, this is the top. Look how freaking pretty. And obviously you don't have to wear them together, but I like to wear them together because I like to match. But yeah, the Victoria's Secret ones are probably like $80, but 
but these ones were only $20 a piece so you can get like four pair for the price of one and they feel great they're like super soft um they don't feel hot and they honestly feel like really good quality like the legs come all the way down i've worn them already one time i've washed them they feel good still so I feel like why spend the $80 you can just spend $20, get the same look. Y'all know I am a budget queen. I am not about just spending my, my hard earned money on like stuff that I can get for cheaper. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. So the next things I'm gonna show y'all. This, this little baby. I love her. I've used her only one time before, but this is really very handy for me because I wash my own hair. Um, probably everyone else right now you're washing your own hair because we're in quarantine no one's going out and getting your hair done this helps you to feel very clean whenever you wash your hair and it helps you to scratch all of those spaces that you can't always get with your nails especially if your nails are like mine and they're kind of thin and brittle it can be hard to scratch your scalp in the shower and sometimes you do need to scratch it so this is amazing for that i thought that it was the vibrating one it's not but i mean i still like it so the next thing i'm gonna show y'all this is a game changer literally so good so the first time i tried this i got it from my local beauty supply store and it was great it used to always be sold out but i got my hands on it and it was amazing literally i would get so many compliments on my edges everywhere i went and whenever i do my edges with this it just lays so much easier i don't have to lay them down or like lay them down with a scarf or anything like that I use the coconut and banana scent. There's literally so many different scents, probably like 20 different scents, but it's amazing. Um, I got it from Amazon. I got a pack of three for like $15, I think. I don't remember how much it was in the store, but I know that it's cheaper on Amazon, the three pack, than just getting the one, because I think the one was like, I don't know, maybe $8 or something. So you get basically three for the price of two. And I love these. I don't want to run out of this. So, of course, I got the three. The next thing I'm going to show y'all. These crisscross slippers. I literally have been wearing these every day. Um, I love these so freaking much. I saw these in another YouTuber's video. These are just amazing. Like, look at how cute they are. I think they were like $20. And you can't beat that. The only thing about these is I do think that they run a bit small. I got the size medium because I wear about a 7 to a 7.5. Um, I do wish I would have got the large. I was going to send them back and get the large, but I pretty much just ended up wearing them and now I just keep wearing them so I can't return them. I do wish they were um, in a bigger size just so that my feet could fit more comfortably on them. But what they are right now, I think that it's fine. And I think that these are just so adorable. Like I literally just throw them on. I wore them to the store the other day, <laughs> but I just love them. I wear them around the house all day because I don't really like my feet being on the floor anymore. I don't know. Yeah, those are definitely a win. And I think I have only two more things to show you guys. So let me go and show you them. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is just Bella's little, what is this called? What is this called? Bella's little high chair. She uses this every single day and I just love it. It's pink and rose gold and it's adorable i'm pretty sure it reclines back i don't know how to use it and i don't know when i would ever use that but and yeah. then her playpen i just ordered this on amazon it is a little bit smaller than what it's supposed to be because i don't have all the pieces on it but i like it this size so this is what i have and i just love it and she plays in it and then sometimes she just doesn't want to Whew. i feel like i want to lay down for the rest of this video Alright you guys, so that's pretty much all the items that I had from Amazon. Like I said, I'll link everything down below. If I can't find exactly what I had, then I'll link something similar. I'm happy that I was finally able to just sit down, get cute, and film a video for you guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's been kind of rough lately with this whole, like... I don't know this whole quarantine thing has just like really gotten to me like more than I really realized because I just honestly haven't wanted I just haven't been wanting to do anything whenever it just feels like you know you were like working on so many things and you were working towards so many goals and then this happened and it's just like it puts a hold on everything or it just puts a stop on everything it can be a bit discouraging and I know that pretty much everyone is feeling this way right now so 
it's nothing to complain about it's just you know kind of explaining to you guys why i haven't been posting as much as i was doing like i felt like before this i was just kind of like going hard and like if you know me then you know that i was posting three days a week very consistently and i wanted to even boost it up to more but then i don't know guys this thing has literally been feeling just like the flu even though i'm not sick obviously i haven't had any symptoms or anything like that it just feels like i'm just so like under the weather i don't know guys it's been pretty tough um especially the past few days i have had the coronavirus affect my family <sighs> specifically today that's gonna be a whole nother story time if you guys want to know more about that and how like I don't know how it's affecting us and how we're dealing with it but i just want to kind of say you know this thing is very serious and it's very real it's affecting real people i've always said this from the beginning that this thing is very scary and it's very real but i just want to reiterate that because i don't think a lot of people truly understand like how real this really is it's just very sad to see you know whenever i get on social media like people complaining about not being able to do things and not being able to go anywhere and it's like it's not that you're just not able to do it or like you're not you're not on punishment it's just that you have to worry about and care for the people that are around you that this can actually hurt and like care for yourself too because you don't know if it can hurt you like it's not just older people and people with underlying illnesses anymore it's everyone and even if it was just older people and people with underlying illnesses there are people like that in your family so you should be worried about them and you should care about them and you should be able to stay in the house for you know a few weeks or whatever it takes to make sure that they're healthy because if it does start affecting them and they're not healthy anymore or god forbid they pass away like that's gonna hurt and pretty much you know you're gonna know that you contributed to that and if you would have just stayed inside and just relaxed then it would have been you know you probably could have helped you know and that's just for the people that can i know that you know everyone can't i know that there are people that have to go to work every single day and like i completely understand that but this is just specifically speaking to the people that are still going out like by friends and just hanging out and stuff it's just like i really want you guys to really take this to, to take this seriously and know that this is a real thing and that we can get past it and we will but like we all have to work together on it you know what i mean so i am going to try to get back on my schedule and come up with more like quarantine ideas and things that you guys can do from your house because i know that you know you can get bored being in the house i feel like i don't ever get bored being in the house because i have bella she literally keeps me busy all freaking day but on the bright side her dad is back home so i'm very happy about that i mean so far you know in my house me my boyfriend my baby and also my close family like my mother my father and my brothers and sisters we're all doing good thankfully um i hope that things can stay this way and i just hope that this doesn't affect like my close close family too much and i hope that it doesn't affect your family either because it's just very sad just thinking about all the people that are losing their lives like way before their time because it's of this freak like freak virus that came out you know what i mean <sighs> i don't know guys if you did like this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe let me know what you think down below and let me know what videos you want to see from me while we're in quarantine i definitely want to get some videos out for you guys to entertain you i'm also liking this chill little vibe let me know what you think but yeah guys um stay safe stay healthy protect yourself and protect your family and i will see you in my next one